Hi friends, welcome back to another homemaking motivational video. Today we have a grocery haul from Aldi. We're also going to be resetting the kitchen by taking down all of the Valentine's Day decor, clearing out the fridge, updating the pantry. So if you're into these types of videos guys, consider subscribing. We post twice a week and we post all about homemaking. So cleaning, cooking, mom life, all the things that goes in between that. So we would love to have you to be a part of our YouTube family. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be grocery shopping with me. I am going to Aldi and I got my Ikea bag because I don't know where my Aldi bag, well I do know where it's at, but this one's bigger and so I'm going to take that one and you guys know that Aldi is like um, budget friendly as well as like you got to bring your own bags and you got to have a quarter. Do I have a quarter? I got a quarter. But now we're going to head to Aldi and um, I got a grocery list that I already made up. I have my menu for the week. I already had up so you guys that's the best thing to do when you're shopping is to get your menu ready to go and I just realized that my camera is about to die so I'm gonna try to film as much as I can while I'm in the grocery store but I am definitely gonna be doing a haul so you guys stay tuned Alright, so here's an overview of the things that I got from Aldi and Walmart. I did go over budget, about $30, but I feel like we got a lot of stuff. This was about $180-ish. Um, my budget was $150, so this is just an overview. I got a lot of little stuff um, for our meals this week. Some of this stuff is for today. We're going to be barbecuing, and we're going to be making some homemade nachos this week these brownies and stuff like that you know like from Aldi like they're off brand stuff but it's good I got the roast with it already in one pack so I don't have to like buy the potatoes and everything separate so this was $10.99 y'all for that roast from Aldi I also got some fresh flowers I'm going to be replacing those back there and I got the wings also this wasn't on the list but I am about to eat this uh, this is the lemon pepper flavored um, chicken rotisserie chicken from Walmart really good got that from the neighborhood Walmart um, and then got some shredded chicken for our homemade nachos this week just extra stuff for like grab and go um, you know I don't know how my week be going sometimes so if, if I can't cook one of the meals we have these beef and bean burritos some pizza easy stuff some extra hot dogs and you know stuff like that but yeah this is an overview so this is the fridge and the inside of it it's not that bad because I just recently cleaned it out because my little boy came in and got all the eggs and started cracking them all in the fridge so it recently had a little wipe down a good wipe down so today I'm just gonna take some Lysol wipes and just give it a little wipe down just so um, I could put everything back in I try to do this when I grocery shop every time I grocery shop sometimes it gets done sometimes it don't So we're moving on to the pantry. This is the current state. It's not horrible. It just needs to be tidied up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sweep it out, organize it a little bit better. I had a lot of bins in there, so I'm going to minimize that because I thought I had too many bins and people were just throwing things in different bins and it really wasn't working. So I'm just going to minimize that by grouping like items together. I thought I had already did that, but we're going to do it again. I'm going to take this parchment paper and put it at the bottom of this basket. I do need to get another basket because the shells of the onions and stuff um, are like coming through the basket. So that's why I did for the time being. And then this little basket is for like open things that, you know, people are still eating on. They just put it back in there. And then I'm grouping all of our condiments from fast food restaurants that we go to. All right, so we are done with the pantry. Got it organized, reorganized. Um, just cleared out some stuff. It had a lot going on in here. I told my kids, if you see anything, if you take anything out of here, please put it back where you got it from. 
you know, we have stations, that's chips area, like root vegetable area. You got your stuff that you've opened, you can put it back in here. Maybe I need to put labels on that, stuff like that. Cookie snacky area right here, we got some bacon stuff. You know, all your stuff for that. And I just cleared out this bottom because we had a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. So we had this stuff in there, like light bulbs, and I was thrifting, I got like, I got this off Amazon, but I got another one off from the thrift store. And these are just pools for the bathroom. Um, I had these frames in there for Levi's room. I had got this from Target. Levi! Y'all, Levi would not let me be great on that portion of the video. I don't even know what happened to the rest of the clip. But, yeah. So, now we're taking down all the things from Valentine's Day. I had a Valentine's Day party. That video is going to be coming out right after this one. So, I did have decorations everywhere. But the night before, you know, I had to take that stuff down right after the party ended. And so, we're just finishing up with the rest of the um, decor that we had in there. I'm going to be replacing my flowers that I got from Walmart. So you guys have got to let me know in the comments, are you a flower girly? Because I definitely am. I'm sure you guys can sense that through my videos. I love fresh florals. I love plants in general. It's just something about plants that make your home feel and just look pretty. And so, yeah, I really enjoy getting fresh flowers every time I go to the grocery store. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments. Are you, are you like into that or are you not into that? So I want to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Ashley Fairley. My husband and I have been married for 12 years. We have four kids and we live in the beautiful city of Pensacola, Florida. We recently bought this home about a month and a half ago and we're slowly turning this house into a home. And so if you're into these types of videos, we would love to have you as part of our YouTube family. I am a regular mom. I just share regular stuff. I just, you know, happen to show my stuff all over the internet. So if you're into that, stick around and join the fam. So on this same day, I went through and I wiped down all of my stainless steel appliances and cleaned out my microwave. So I did want to show you guys how my microwave was looking. It was looking a hot mess. I think the last time I cleaned it was two weeks ago. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to go every week because my kids are clearly not using that splatter-proof container to, you know, when they microwave their food. So I did give them a, a talk. <laughs> but yeah, this is how it looked after with the fact. It looks really good compared to what it was looking like. So I do have a desire to be that Pinterest mom I always wanted to be. So this is my attempt to make a charcuterie board. Um, I had some of the things, but I, I know I need to get different cheeses for it. But yeah, this is how it turned out. So it's the next day and I'm making some mop water using bleach, essential oil, some dish soap and then we're just gonna put that in some hot hot water and we're just gonna give the floor a good mop i love mopping i know that's so weird that somebody loves the mop but this one's it's just one of my favorite chores and so if you have a favorite chore let me know in the comments but mopping is definitely one of mine So moving into the living room area, I didn't have to do much in here but change out the pillows and spray down our mirror. I got this mirror from Ross if you were wondering and I'm using this spray away cleaner, glass cleaner to clean it. I'm surprised how well it's holding up with a toddler in the house. I only had a few smudges. So yeah, I'm enjoying how simple the home is looking without all of the decor up. I'm just enjoying the bareness of it. I can't wait for spring but I'm going to take my time with it. These pillows also came from Rooms to Go as far as the couch as well came from Rooms to Go. And so yeah we're enjoying it and if you're into these types of videos stay tuned guys we have a room makeover and we have a Valentine's day party coming up soon all right thanks for watching bye guys